Good afternoon class. Today we're going to learn a lesson on place value. Specifically we're going to be learning it through the billions. Okay, so pretty simple. We have our ones, our thousands, our millions, and our billions. The easiest way to remember where a number falls in the place value is three digits in each place value. Okay, so you're probably familiar with in the ones we have our ones, tens, hundreds. Now, the rest of them are really simple because in the thousands, the next category would be ten thousands and then the hundred thousands and the millions same thing we have our ten millions and our hundred millions and then finally the billions we have our ten billions and our hundred billions so now we take a number for example let's go with the one in the book we have four billion Five hundred thirty-nine million. Okay, so how do we know how to say that if we were going to write that in word form? You'd take the number and you'd say the word, whatever place value that falls under, you'd say that word next. So if we we're going to write this out in word form, we would write the number four billion. Okay, and each of these are separated by a comma, each place value. Okay? So when you write it out in word form, you have to do the same thing. Okay, so we have four billion. Then we'd say the next grouping, which is 539. Okay, now 39 is a hyphenated number because it is two words that make up that number. Anytime you have two words that make up a number, you have to put a hyphen in the middle. 539, this batch falls under the millions, so we then write millions. Okay, and then we have all zeros after that, so you don't have to write anything else with the word form. So we have this way of writing the number. This is called the standard form. Okay? And then when you write it out with words, this is the word form. Okay, the other way to think about it is what they call the expanded form. Okay, so with the expanded form, you have to break each number into its place value. So starting with this one, we have the four, we would write four, and it would be in the billions, so we have, everything else is going to be a zero after that. So it would be four billion plus, then the next number is a five, that is in the millions, so that's 500 millions. Plus, then we have, this is in the tens, so that'd be 30 million. And then the last digit that we see, with the exception of the zeros, is in the nine million. Okay, so we would then add nine million. Now, if there were any other numbers in these, digits, we would also have to write them in the expanded form as well. But for this example, that's it. We have the standard form, which is the way everybody's familiar with writing it, the word form, and finally the expanded form. 